are, they're seriously trapped. They're yeah. not underwater themselves, but no. they just can't get out. No. No. That was on the telly, wasn't it? Yeah. <coughs> So guys, we're in uh, Worcester, Worcester, and um, we're looking at the floods today. So, just at the college car park here, up there, there's a cathedral. And uh, yeah, the river is not far off, it's highest it's ever been. Uh, very high. So we're going to take the drone up, have a little look, look at the surrounding area. But uh, it's very, very high. Just going to check on the river level. Just so I can give you guys an exact figure. So there we go. So the height at the moment is 5 metres 54 and rising now the highest it's ever been is 5 meters 79 26th of february 2022 uh, now this staircase is a big staircase and it's almost to the top um, that sign there is on a grass bank and it's half covered very very high um, and it's only going to get higher we've had rain all day yesterday and it's not peaked yet maybe tomorrow will be peaked further upstream Budley Budley is due to hit its highest ever as well and we will be going there tomorrow to get the drone up there as well but uh, as you can see 5 meter 79 is the highest here it's a 554 at the moment rising so not far off its highest at all so a little walk <coughs> down we're going to go onto the bridge as well which is precariously sticking out of the water um not going to be an audit video it's going to be more of a uh, informative and uh, documenting history really but we'll stick it on the normal channel for people to see but look at that let's do a little zoom in Got the swans there <laughs> So this uh, restaurant and bar here, look at that. This side of the restaurant and bar down here is deeper than a person already. So down there, look, that's the roof of an outdoor area. Look at that. And there's a sign. Look at that sign. Now that is normally above head height when you're walking down there and that one there is very very deep at the moment this river yeah we're going to go over to the bridge now guys we're have a little look at the bridge so we've got more rain it's raining at the moment We've got a few places to look here in Worcester. Oh, swans are hungry. <coughs> Feeding the beasts. <laughs> hungry, hungry swans, man. Loads of swans. Loads of them. <laughs> yeah, so those that you to those of you that know Worcester, you'll know that this is very high for the water. I mean, there's a staircase here 
which goes down to a sloped path down to the river's edge well the the walkway the river walk and it's almost at the top of that staircase which is shockingly high <laughs> shockingly high i've seen worcester flood many times it, apart from the race course it's never normally that dramatic uh not in the center anyway look at that that poor restaurant is probably in four four feet of water even at this this end the high end they got the pumps working there look pumping the water out but as you can see down there looks like they've got a flood defense there look and it's almost over the flood barrier which was probably designed to never be breached because it is overhead height that is if you're walking through that archway that's overhead height that barrier and it's not far off breaching it and to be fair if it goes much higher it, it will be breaching that um, look at all these pipes and even up here pretty damn high we're going to get the drone up over here and also further along the river as well <clears throat> looks like in there keeping it nice and dry for the moment Yeah, at the moment, there's no water in there. What's it like inside, mate? Is it still dry or not? Just saying to me, mate, we've got a lot of pumps going. Have you? It's only like, it's even the key side, which is lower. It's only like a slight trickle across the floor. Is it? If the pumps ever went off, it'd be like this. But we've got, all, we've got some poles everywhere, look. So down in that corner, it looks like it's overhead height. Oh, it would be overhead height. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would right. be easy. Yeah. But uh, no, if it's like in the courtyard there. Yeah. Literally, there's dry parts in there. Is there? It ain't too bad in there. Like, you walk around with like, just a normal pair of boots on, quite happily. Yeah. Like I said, if the pump, if the power went off, it might be like this. It's due to come a bit higher, isn't it, yet? Yeah, it's still on its way up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it'll breach your barriers or, or you got more? We got more. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. sound. We only keep up as low as possible to keep getting in. It's hard work getting in and out. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, uh, that's too bad, isn't it? Well, obviously, it could be worse. Yeah. It could be better, like, not have anything, but it is what it is. If you have a place by the river, you can expect to get flooded. That's it, man. <laughs> Take care, mate, all right? Yeah, mate. Well. They've been flooded every time, so they've probably got the best barriers going to keep uh, people nice and dry there. But there we go, there's the bridge. Very, very deep. Let's get a little zoom in on that. used to come to college here back in the day did my national diploma here in engineering electronic engineering back in the day when I was uh, planning to be an engineer didn't enjoy the course <clears throat> lots of maths which was fine I wasn't too bad at the maths but it was just boring <laughs> in my head I, I wanted to be in the uh, in the job hands-on you know doing the doing the mathematics and then designing the cool stuff and of course you have to work up to that so uh, i lost interest quickly but there we go it's 
let's have a look over here. <coughs> this car here needs to move soon because uh, the river's on the way up at the minute. All right, let's get a zoom in on the... Look at that. View bar is wet. Got another pump work in there. Alright guys, time to go over the bridge. Let's hope the bridge doesn't collapse. It's going to be under more pressure now than it's been for a long time. <laughs> so, what we're we looking at this side then? Yeah. That's a lot of water. We'll get the zoom camera out again in a moment. Look at that mess. All this debris brought down. Go on with that swan. Pumping the water out. What a shame for these businesses down here. That pub's half under. It's going to be a very interesting drone shot here, I think. It looks like it's over to McDonald's over there. We'll have a little zoom in when we get a bit closer. I'm going to have a little look at the race course as well while we're here. Whirlpools there, look. So we're on the uh, other side of the bridge now, St John's side. the Premier Inn's car park which doesn't really usually get too much affected but it's completely submerged and you can see from the rugby poles over there how deep the water is I'll show you in a second someone's car is now in the water so they're going to get wet feet getting to that or worse if they leave it any longer but let's zoom into the rugby poles down there look guys guys this is how deep it is look over there and then what would be good is to go and have a look at the race course but we may have to drive up there We'll get the drone over from here. I think the drone here will be a good place. Loads of road closures, obviously.
So you see the cars are coming over the pavement here, look. Diverted across where the people normally go. We've got a train going over to Great Malvern. Now, has it got McDonald's yet? I think McDonald's is probably closed because you can't get there. <laughs> that road all the way up there, this side of the river will be completely submerged. The drone probably will be able to see that. If we have a little zoom in to McDonald's, it looks closed to me. You can't physically get there. There's the railway bridge. And if you compare how much brickwork they're showing compared to normal guys. Shockingly deep. And there's the archways again. Not much left on these edge ones here, is there? Not much left in the middle, really. They're going to take uh, more time to fill up for the water to come down from Wales and so on. So for now, we're going to get the drone up here, I think. We're going to have a little look around in this, in this part. Got another train going over the bridge. Too late for the zoom cam. From Great Malvern into Worcester Fourgate Street. So, this is going to be very, very interesting to see this lot from above. Very, very interesting. All right, guys, let's have a look at this river from above. Look at that. What a mass of water. Loads of water. <laughs> Look at that. So normally it, it comes right up to the edge of that road there. It won't be long before that's flooded there and then that road is closed as well. And that's the, that's the main way across the river here. There's no other way for a while. Go a bit higher. Let's get right up to the maximum, shall we? 120 meters. Loads of mess. That's the problem there, that building. There is the rest of the city. Wow, it really has gone quite far in there, hasn't it? Damn. That is, uh, that's bad, that is. Really bad. So there's McDonald's. Little island, look. McDonald's is most definitely closed. Seen it from here. Little island there in between the traffic lights, look. And 
And then of course, that road going up there. Is completely gone. For those of you who didn't know Worcester, that's normally a, no a nice road up there, up the hill. Sometimes, sometimes has water lapping on the edge. Now it's completely submerged all the way, all the way in. Really, really bad that is. And that's the race course. You literally can't make it out to be a race course at the moment. Look at that. Even the building, it's gone. Let's go and have a closer look at that. We're going to come back and look at the bridge after. Let's, let's keep going. Look at that. Wow. Pretty awesome to see from up here, but it's not good. Sorry, did I get in on spoil your show? No, it's alright, I've got a drone up. I've got a drone up. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm not recording them. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> There's the race course. I think that's the race course. Or is it further along? No, that's the race course. Right there. Wow. That's bad. And there's the road that goes alongside the race course. And there's the police station, there. For those of you that know where the police station is, you then come down the hill and there's water there. <laughs> Look at that, car park's gone literally gone someone's van there wait there's a couple of cars there oh dear oh dear they're not getting them out of there very easily are they and there's the railway bridge which we're now going to have a closer look at Just going to do a once round check where we are. No obstructions. Wow, look at that. Yeah, be extra cautious here. Well, there's the railway bridge, which is absolutely fine, but uh, that's where we're looking at now. That's a road there. come down a little bit more Let's just check where we are we've got no no trees 
that tree's half gone. Now would not be a good time for a bird strike. Oh, more birds. I think we should get out of this area very quickly. As you can see from here, the bridge is uh, sticking out the water. And there's the railway bridge, guys. Look at that. Wow. Devastation. Shocking devastation. Have a look down here at these businesses. Mmm. It's not good, is it? Coming back up to the bridge now. going to go over the bridge look at that Talking about Bugley there on the phone. Look at that, shocking. And the first floor is completely submerged there, guys. You've got a whole other row of windows underneath that row. Gone. But they're saying at the moment the water's staying out due to the pumps and the uh, barriers they've got installed, which is good news. We're gonna get up nice and high now. Look at that. This side of the river is a lot higher. Nothing's happened yet. But further down south, downstream, it looks like mayhem. There's St. John's area, up that way. There's the bridge. Devastation, look at that. And there's more to come. A lot more to come. Little island, look.
Going to check around. Nothing in the area to uh, obstruct the drone. We're going to do here, we're going to do a little cinematic flyby just in case anybody like the BBC contacts me for the footage. There we go. We're just going to do a nice little slow flyby. of both bridges. Look at that. Right then. I think it's time to get the drone back. May do a very quick view of this race course from this side this time. There it is. <sighs> An ambulance going past there. Look at that, man. Shocking. Right then, let's come back around to the race course and we're going to do a return. See the sun shining now and everything. Looks pretty uh, dramatic. We've got a train going over the bridge. There. Into Worcester Fourgate Street. Yeah, look at the sun shining on the water now. You can see everything. got a low battery but we're almost back so be absolutely fine we're gonna end the flight there guys stay tuned for Stratford upon Avon just seeing this bus come through some deep water out of the uh, bus station. I don't think the water's ever been into the bus station. Well, it has obviously, but not for a very long time. All right, a bit wet in there, isn't it? It is a bit. Damn. You can't get through anywhere really, can you? No. It hasn't been in there for a while, has it? Not for most of the years, no. No. Let's 
TV remote? Uh, light. Is it? Uh, Where's that from? I don't know. It doesn't work anymore though. <laughs> oh, it's a light, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's a professional light? Maybe waterproof. Uh, it's full of water. Is it? Quite a nice one as well, but it's really. Oh dear. Any idea on the Bewdley situation? Usually still due to come up a fair bit, isn't it? Yes, it's got some more water there, yes. But the bridge is closed and... Here, here it's kind of, on my thing, it's at the top now. It's sort of levelling up at the moment. Yeah. There'll still be quite more to come yet, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Any idea what Gloucester's like? No. No. Um, ah. It seems to be levelling off here, doesn't it? Seems to be. Just, yeah. But Bewdley's on its way up to a peak. Yes. So I'm thinking Bugley tomorrow will be the highest. Strange how Worcester peaks before Bugley. But not peaked here yet. It hasn't peaked here? No, there's still more to come yet. So you think it will level off and then it will go up again? Possibly, it might go down a bit and then back up. Um, like I said, there's still more water from Bugley. But it, after Starport, it doesn't get pattern. Right. There's more capacity after Starport. Isn't there? Yes. So that That's water why. up in Bewdley can just sort of dissipate a bit more. Oh yeah. Yeah, because Bewdley's very... Because uh... you can't get a flood here and nothing in Bewdley. Ah. And vice versa, you get a flood in Bewdley. Why is that? And nothing here. Because it gets backed up by the team and the Avon. So then the water backs up here and floods here. But it obviously doesn't flood in Bewdley. Oh, right. Yeah, because you've got the tributary down. Yeah, you've got the team and the Avon. Ah. And they a load of water in and that backs up the water there. Right. So it floods here. Oh, another one coming through. <laughs> At what point do you stop the buses? I'll have to look at them. Oh, all right. <laughs> they can still make it through. They're still the buses, aren't they? Yeah. They're doing quite well. So I'm going to go to Bewley tomorrow. We're doing a video on the... Yeah. I've got a drone. I've took the drone all the way down there. So much water. Well, it's tons. Like I said, it's meant to peak tomorrow, possibly. What are we today? Tomorrow midday. Tomorrow midday? Yeah, something like that. Oh, right. 11 o'clock at the moment, that's where it's showing. And is there, is there a level on there? What, what level that'll be? Because it's 554, is it now? 553. Which is below the what is it now? level. What is it now? This is 4.7. What, here? No, hugely. Bewdley is the only one of the forecast graph. That's it. Bewdley, isn't it? Is, uh... Worcester is 5.54. Yeah, at the minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right, Bewdley's due to come up tomorrow. But that time normally changes. Yes. It could be Friday, I think. Probably will be, won't it? I'm going to go up to Stratford up on Avon as well now. Nice. It's bad there, yeah. High, yeah. Oh, guys, there we go. Bus stations underwater, at least part of it. Those of you that don't know Worcester, you'll know that that is high. For that to be flooded, it's high. No way through there. That little mini river here, look. Got a pump working there. That place is underwater, you can see through the glass, it's underwater in there. Virginia house, lifestyle living, gone. We may watch one more bus come out of there and we're gonna move on to uh, Stratford up on Avon, I think. I know the local fords are going to be deep. Lots of cars will be getting stuck in the local fords for sure. If anyone's stupid enough to drive through them. The landlords have to go to Graham to get another pump because it's just not working. So this pump here is Oh dear, somebody's Audi is coming through the water. 
pretty risky that is. I don't think Audi's are too good in water, mate. <laughs> the Audi's made it. Everyone's stressed out. Bit of road rage going on. Got a bus coming coming out of the station. Car right? Huh? The car right? Wasn't in deep water, was it? Huh? Wasn't in deep water, was it? Not that bad. It's just, it's just it's yeah, stressful situation, isn't it? Look at all these swans over here. All the swans for the whole river <laughs> are here. <laughs> Cathedral once again. Everyone's out talking about it. All right, Dave. I haven't seen the river this high for years. <laughs> Comes is to the ball. If you see it on the bottom of the ball. Oh, you've seen it that way? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it here. Yeah. A year and a half ago, two years ago, it came up to here. Oh, right. right. Another 25 centimetres? Yeah. Oh, at least. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's not picking so tomorrow, though, is it? No, absolutely. It's still in weight, as we said, it works way down. So, um, it said that on, on, the, on the breakfast table this morning, I was watching it. Actually, there's a picture of. Um, Oh, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. No. No, I, I saw it on the, the main the BBC news. The guy was there. It was on the main way. news last night, and a mate of mine all the way up in uh, Clitheroe, up in Lancashire, texted me. Nigel, I saw Worcester on the telly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it on the main news before. No, it's the first time I've seen Worcester on the main news. Yeah. You get it on Midlands today, obviously, but yeah. Come on, kids, have your lunch. Yeah. Here we go. Go for it. Action camera, we're going to dive in in a minute. Doing a story on the flood today. Hmm? I did a story on the flood. So. Are you, are you, are you you're the BBC guy? No, I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. Yeah. So who, who was the chap down the bottom with a big trolley? I thought he was a BBC interviewer. Was I'm, it you? The BBC no. guy was in front of uh, the Rex flying house yeah. earlier on. Yes. And then he yeah. took a picture further down. Obviously, it's closed. That's why the Deansway has got an absolute uh, traffic nightmare at the moment because obviously you can't go down no, in of front not. of the Deansway from this direction or coming over the bridge. So the traffic's a right nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. And of course Hilton Road's closed as well over yeah. the other side. Yeah, we well they put the barriers up there. Yeah, they? absolutely, yeah. yeah. We yeah. left our car in St John's because we thought we don't. I took the drone down earlier. Oh, you you used the drone as well? Yeah, I took it all the way down to the race course. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, so, that's so all bad. Right Did the way you across. see a couple of cars in the rectifying car? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're seriously trapped. They're not yeah. underwater themselves, but no. they just can't get out. No. 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 That was on the telly, wasn't it? Yeah. And the guy was talking about it, and then you got the cameraman to whiz round, and you could just see the bridge here as well. So, yeah, <laughs> what a change to have the city that we stood in on the yeah. telly. <laughs> but yes. it was beautiful last night, yeah. in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh with the, the lights on the With all the lights on Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Have you not tried any? I bet Brown's are well pissed off. Not here, no. Oh. Much business, oh. I'll show you quickly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Bewley tomorrow, so there's a there. It's going to be oh. higher in Bewley tomorrow. Oh, my oh, God, it's really going to go there, isn't it? Here. 
four hours later. About that. Is it? Three that was hours. here last night. Oh wow. So, it's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. Here it will probably peak tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Late afternoon, oh. four or five o'clock, and then it will right. start eventually nice. going down. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Stratford up and Avon's near the uh, 1998, it's the highest it's been. It oh, Stratford? Yeah, it, it's coming up near that. Oh boy. So I'm going to go there now. So Stratford up and Avon yeah. hasn't been this high since 1998. Really? But it, it's getting near that peak, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go and have a look there now. What, what program do you use to, to uh, run your GoPro through? No, I just record on there. Yes. And I just edit it on the computer oh, on uh, Wondershare. On what? It's just called Wondershare. Yeah, Wondershare. the uh, oh, right. just editing software. Right, I don't know Wondershare. On the phone, it's VN app, VN editing, but right. on the computer, it's the same app called Wondershare. I don't know why the name's different. I don't, I don't know it's Wondershare. Put it on YouTube. Yes. But I've done the drone. The drone so bad, you can see everything, you know. I'll bet. So, yeah. I'm going to go down to uh, Stratford now. I've got a friend called Dave Grubb. Who yeah. Is a photographer locally. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a drone. He put it up a few years back. It's amazing. Yeah. You see everything, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when, you, when you see drone footage and people think they're going to go on holiday and see the same thing, they're not, are they? They're at ground level. Yeah. They can't possibly see no. what the drone can. I mean, even if we could get 10 foot up, it'd be a different, yeah. let alone a drone. 30, 40 foot up's a good height. You can see a lot from there. Yeah, I'll bet. 100 foot. Which and, drone have you got? Uh, it's DJI Mini Pro. No, Mini no, 3 Pro. I don't know it. Is it a big one or a little one? It's only a baby. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, it's a little one? Yeah. Oh, my car's got one of these things about, uh, about that big. But he puts a proper camera underneath it. Oh, okay. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's funny. Imagine dropping a proper camera lot. into that lot. <laughs> Have a nice now. day, guys. Right, we're going to leave Worcester. We're going to go. We're going to go. Stratford up and Avon next. That'll be a different video. You guys won't see that footage on this video. This will be a Worcester. Worcester, uh, Storm Henk Worcester video. But I may well put a few of them out on the same same time, separate to my normal content. Just documenting some history here. There we go. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.